Good evening, guys, and thank you very much for joining today. I'm going to share my screen. Voy a compartirles mi pantachita. Okay, so there we have, right? It, this is where we stopped yesterday. Aquí nos quedamos el día de ayer, okay? So in this case, we're going to continue, right, with um, some of the ideas that we began yesterday. Es como un repasito de lo último que vimos, ¿verdad? Y son unos ejercicios también que vamos a, este, a trabajar, ¿verdad? Solo voy a pasar asistencia de un momentito. Hoy es su última clase, chicos, así que congratulations, okay, congratulations on that. You have done a very good job. I know that it's hard, that sometimes we don't want to, that sometimes we feel very, very, um, how can I say it, um, stressed. Pero gracias por hacer el tiempo de estar acá, ¿ok? Entonces vamos acá mencionando los nombres, Alba Iris Marroquín Hernández. Alba Iris Marroquín Hernández. Eh, Ana Cristina Osorio Cornejo. Brian Alexi Abarca Contreras. Present. Gracias. Eh, Candelaria Guadalupe Fuentes de Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Carlos Alexander Vizcarra Pineda. Eh, Cintia Marisol Mejía Rodríguez. Present. Gracias, Marisol. Bueno, Cintia, gracias, Cintia Marisol. Eh, Elba Milagro Granados Rodríguez. Elba. No está Elba, hoy, bueno. Eh, Javier Arnoldo Mejía Rodríguez. Present. Gracias. Pero José Francisco López Aguilar. Present. Gracias, José Francisco. Julio César Guevara Flores. Present. Gracias, Julio César. Julio César Rosa Galeano. Julio César Baquis Villator. Karen Andrea Díaz Bonilla. Karen Beatriz Arias López. Present. Gracias. Maritza del Carmen Meléndez de Alarcón. Mayeli Yamilez Ardón Pérez. Mireya Beatriz Cantón Mengíbar. Oscar Giovanni Castillo Mancilla. Osmar Jair Hernández Alvarado. Here. Thank you, Osmar. Roberto Carlos Alfaro Alberto. Here. Thank you, Rolando Ernesto Aquino de León. Roxana Yamilet Morán Morán, perdón, López Morán. Present. Gracias. Eh, Ruth Xiomara Ayala de García. Ruth Xiomara Ayala de García. ¿No? Eh, William Roberto Cordero Aguilar. Present. Gracias. Ay, señor, ¿qué hice? Dime un saco. Eh, Jetmi Wendiles Batres Flores y Jocelyn Stephanie Aria 7. Present. Gracias, Jocelyn. Eh, vaya, ahora los que acaban de entrar que no les tomé la asistencia. Es que, es que creo que, bueno, tal vez si sí me dicen porque yo veo varios mensajes acá. No sé si hay alguien que ya haya que no, que no haya mencionado. Yo me acabo de conectar. Ah, ok. Es Mireya, ¿verdad? Ok. Sí. ¿Alguien más, chicos, de los que se acaba de eh, conectar? Yo me acabo de conectar. Alba Iris Marroquín se acaba de conectar. Me acabo de conectar también. Solo puedo escuchar por el ah, momento. Ah, vaya. Vaya, Alba, ahorita. La voy a poner acá, Alba Iris. Thank you. ¿Alguien más? Yo igual me acabo de conectar ahorita. Es Ana Cristina. Sí, correcto. Ana Cristina, vaya. ¿Alguien más, chicos? Hola, buenas noches. Bueno, yo igual me voy conectando. Jamilet, vaya. Sí. Jamilet Ardón. Gracias. You're welcome. ¿Cuál es su otro nombre? Ah, Mayeli, vea. Vaya, creo que ahí estamos, ¿ok? Eh, William Roberto, Dime, dígame, este, Karen. 
estoy present, maestra, por, pero no puedo activar el micrófono porque no estoy en casa ahorita. Vaya, gracias, no se preocupe. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, very good. So, thank you very much for that. Gracias por este, hacerse presente, chicos. Recuerden que hoy es ya su última clase, ¿verdad? Y con esta clase, pues, terminan el, el nivel. Eh, no, no sé. No sé quién me escribió. Quiero ver. ¿Quién me acaba de escribir? Perdón. Es que fíjense que me preguntan acá. Dice, la otra semana iríamos al módulo 2 de lunes a jueves a la misma hora. Me imagino que sí, pero, pero no, eh, como les digo, no sé qué, cuán, cuál es el día que comienzan ustedes, ¿verdad? No, no sabría decirles. Este, tienen, le, Va a suceder lo mismo. Le van a mandar un correo con la misma información. Le van a mandar un correo con... Y el link, ¿verdad? Para la sesión, la contraseña, el link para WhatsApp, el link para las, para las clases, pero no sé en realidad en qué horario se inscribieron sí. o en qué, ¿cómo les puedo decir? O en qué fecha van a comenzar, ¿verdad? En mi caso, pues... Bueno, usted nos daría la clase. ¿Perdón? El siguiente módulo. Usted nos daría el siguiente módulo. Siempre eh... maestro. Fíjense que hasta ahorita no me han dicho, no sé si, porque a nosotros nos rotan, nos mueven, por ejemplo, a mí creo que me tocaría con, con otro grupo, ¿verdad? Los van rotando oh, así okay. ajá, cada mes, pero no, no estoy segura aún, ¿verdad? No, no es seguro. Pero diría más bien que si van con, con muy probablemente otra, otra persona, ¿verdad? Porque los van, nos van rotando. Uh -huh. Pero sí, para quien me preguntó ahí, me imagino yo que sí, si usted se registró en el mismo, en el mismo horario. Siempre las clases son de lunes a viernes, a no ser que haya un, un, un feriado, ¿verdad? La fecha exacta de cuándo comienzan, esa sí no la tengo, pero lo que le puedo decir es que esté pendiente de su correo, porque el correo es donde mandan todos los accesos para cuando ya están inscritos para el siguiente módulo. En el caso de ustedes, pues si ya enviaron su documentación y todo, no se preocupen, que llegado el momento, así como fue en el nivel 1, ustedes van a recibir todo en un solo correo, incluyendo pues la fecha en la que van a comenzar. Así que, no se preocupen por el momento, eh, disfruten pues el hecho de que es su última clase, que ya van para, para el siguiente módulo, así que, este, don't worry, ¿verdad? Esperemos el aviso, ¿ok? Vaya, chicos, eh, no sé, Karen, yo vi que usted levantó la mano, no sé si tenía preguntas. Karen. No, es que vi que tenía levantada la mano. Pensé que tenía preguntas. Ok, vaya, vámonos entonces acá. Chicos, quiero hacer este ejercicio con ustedes porque fue un ejercicio que, que fue bastante confuso para algunos de ustedes, ok? Y es, y es comprensible, ok? So, there was a listening exercise in the last activity. And this is related to Mary's, um, Mary's activities, by the way. And you have to guess what Mary, you know, is doing in, I mean, the eight different scenarios, right? Entonces, algunos, pues, de ustedes, chicos, se me confundieron porque dentro del manual teníamos el verbo shopping or shop, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ese es el que se escucha al final, pero en la plataforma estaba registrado como typing o digitar. Entonces, ahora sí, pues, vamos a... Hacer el ejercicio nuevamente, se lo voy a poner, ¿verdad? Para que este, ustedes, puedan, eh, ustedes puedan escuchar, ¿verdad? Give me one moment. Se lo voy a poner acá, permítanme. Answer questions about each sound. Give me one second. Es que no sé, no sé quién me preguntó, es que por eso pregunto, pido siempre que pongan el nombre y el horario porque no sé quién me escribe.
pues no, 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 no es de este horario. Bueno, que es de 8 o 9, dice. Va yo aquí explicando todo eso. Bye. Entonces, I'm going to play the listening right now. All what you have to do is to organize, ¿verdad? Organize the, the sentence. Y ese consejo se lo doy de aquí en adelante, chicos. Cuando ustedes le escriban a su, a su teacher o a su instructor, cuando usted le escriba cualquier cosa, dígale, soy fulanito de tal, de tal horario. Porque como tenemos varios grupos, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando alguien nos escribe, no sabemos de qué grupo es, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, siempre escriban, soy fulanito de tal y pertenezco a este horario, a este grupo, a este nivel. ¿De acuerdo? Va, entonces, escuchemos, please. One. Two. No se escucha, Miss. No se escucha nada. Ok, lo voy a volver a poner, ¿de acuerdo? Three about each sound. One. Hoy sí. Two. Seven. Okay, so now that we have listened to all the things, ahora eh, entiendo, ¿verdad? La confusión que hubo con este, con este ejercicio dentro de la plataforma. So number one is driving. What about number two, guys? What do you have for number two? Swimming. Okay, number two is swimming. Number three? Eating dinner. dinner. Eating, right? Eating dinner. Okay. What about the next one, number four? Watching television. Okay, watching television. Number five. Dancing. 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 Six. Riding a, a bike. Riding a bike. Riding a bike. Seven. Playing tennis. Playing tennis. And eight. Taping. <laughs> en esa la plataforma, right? Typing, como nos, eh, nos dio dolor de cabeza, pero actually it's shopping, right? Por eso es que algunos de ustedes decían que es que se escucha como que está comprando, y era cierto, se escucha la caja registradora y la gente ahí al fondo, right? So number eight is shopping, pero en la plataforma estaba registrado como typing, ok? Entonces, that's what Mary is doing at the moment, right? So, number one, it says, uh, Mary, what, what's Mary doing right now? She's driving, ok? What about number two? What's Mary doing right now? What's Mary doing right now? Number 
In number two. ¿Cómo diríamos en número dos? Diríamos, she's swimming, right? What about number three? What is she doing? Diríamos, she's eating dinner, right? Number four, what is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? What is she doing? She's watching television. She's watching television, right? What about number five? What is she doing? She's dancing. She's dancing. Number six, what is she doing? She's riding a bike. She's riding a bike. Riding, riding a bike. Number seven, what is she doing? She's playing She's tennis. She's playing, playing tennis. tennis. Very good. What about number eight? What is she doing? She's shopping. She's shopping. Excellent. That's it. Eso era todo lo que teníamos que hacer, ¿verdad? Así que, good job, guys. Bye. Now we're going to move to a reading section, right? So in this class, students will read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details, okay? So I'm going to play the listening on um, this reading. And after you finish, we are, I mean, after we finish listening to the, to the track, we are going to answer the questions, okay? So please pay attention and I'm going to play the listening right now. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Very good. So now we're going to answer the questions, okay? So the first question that we have there is, who is writing an essay? Who is writing an essay from the reading? We have the names over there. Who is the person who is writing an essay? Uh -huh. Who is writing an essay? Ese ya lo habían hecho. Ese está en la plataforma, right? So this exercise is from the platform. So, ¿quién está escribiendo un ensayo? Who is writing an essay? Well, in this case, the person who is writing an essay, if you see here, right, is, let me see. Meg Martin. It says, I'm writing an essay, right? It says over here, I'm writing an essay for my Spanish class. So it's Mega, I mean, Kathy, right? So it's Kathy O'Brien, okay? She's writing an essay. And who is having coffee? Who is having coffee, guys? Meg, Meg. Oh, okay, Meg Martin, okay? Who is reading a magazine? 
who is reading a magazine? Carmen. Very good. It's Carmen. Carmen. Mm -hmm. It says, I am, I, I am, or am in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. ¿verdad? What about number four? Who is working outside? Kathy's father. Yes, father. in this case, Kathy's father, right? What about the next one? Who is shopping? Kathy's Kathy mother. mother. Exactly, Kathy's mother, right? And who is playing soccer? Who is playing soccer? Brother, Kathy, Kathy brother. Oh, yeah, in this case, it's uh, John O'Brien, ¿verdad? Oh, Kathy's brother. Muy bien. Okay, John O'Brien. Preguntas, chicos, del vocabulario o, o con este ejercicio, alguna pregunta? Questions? No. Very good. Excellent. Entonces, well, after this, right, we have the 5.16 knowledge check. O sea, este punto ya llegamos al 5.16, right? It says instructions, listen and read to the conversation, then respond with this with the name of the person doing the activity, que es exactamente lo que acabamos de hacer acá. Same exercise, okay? Solo que dentro de la plataforma, de acuerdo? And for this one, I won't do it, but I will move to the following section, okay? So let's have a quick review, okay, on, on the time. So it says, what time is it? Use the sentences in the box, okay? So here we have uh, two, four, six options, and we have six different uh, clocks showing the time, right? What about number two? Number one, it's already done. It's 20 after nine. What about number two, guys? What time is it? Extend to eight. It's 10 to 8. Very good. What about number 3? Number 3? It's, it's quarter nice. after 1. Muy bien. It's a quarter after 1. What about number 4? It's 5.05. Muy bien. It's 5.05. Number 5? It's quarter to three. Muy bien, it's a quarter to three. And number six? It's eight after six. Mm, that's correct, it's eight after six. Eight minutes after six. Muy bien, excelente chicos, good job, okay? Now, this one is a, it's a crossword, okay? And what we're going to do is just to complete the sentence and with the uh, with the letters, you know, that we use to complete the sentence, we're going to fill out this crossword, okay? So it says it's five in the morning. Si yo no quiero decir it's five in the morning, ¿cuáles son las dos letras que utilizo? Bueno, utilizo a.m., ¿verdad? Entonces, it's five a.m., look. Then we have it's 4.15, o sea, it's a quarter. Past four. Past. ¿Cuál es la otra forma también que tenemos aparte de after. past? Muy bien, after, ah. right? So it's a quarter after four. Number seven, it's 12 a.m. ¿Cuál es la otra forma de decir esa hora? Las 12 de la madrugada. It's 12 a.m. It's... No. Muy bien, no. it's midnight. Ahí escuché la respuesta, it's midnight. What about number eight? See, it's 8 p.m. It's 8 in the... Night. Mm, it's 12 a.m. It's number 7. Es la número 7 es acá. Okay. No, perdón. It's number 8. La número 8. O sea, es acá. So, si yo digo it's 8 p.m., it's 8 in the... Night. ¿Cuál es la otra palabra que puedo usar para night? Evening. Muy bien, ¿verdad? Entonces, it's 8 p.m., it's 8 in the evening. What about number 9? It's 12 p.m., 
pero ¿cuál es la palabra que puedo usar para resumir toda esa hora? It's 12 p.m. No, es una palabrita nada más. No. ¿Cuál es? Noon, muy bien, exactly. Right, it's noon. Look, noon, ¿verdad? Then over here, it's 7 a.m., it's 7 in the... Morning. Morning, right? So here you have morning, right? It's 3.30. Aquí solo me tienen que decir el mismo número, ¿verdad? Aquí está en número y ahora en letra sería 30. It's 4 p.m., it's 4 in the... In the what? Look. After. Muy bien, afternoon. ¿verdad? It's 4 in the afternoon. What about number 5? It's 1.15. So it's 1, lo mismo, solo el número. 15, right? It's 1.15. 6, it's 3.45 or it's a... Quarter. Muy bien, it's a quarter. Okay, it's a quarter. Right to four. Y la última, it's 11 p.m. So it's 11 at? Night. At night, muy bien. At, lo ocupo con night. Muy bien. And now we're going to move to the next one. So it says, what are these people doing? Write sentences and use the words in the box, okay? So number one, it's already done. Okay, you know, what, what I'm going to do, lo que voy a hacer es que se lo voy a pasar aquí en el chat para que tengan la lista ustedes también aquí en el chat de Zoom. Okay, there you go. Ahora, so number one, she's sleeping. What about number two? What is he doing, guys? He's swimming. He's swimming. Ajá, muy bien, he's swimming, right? Oops, sorry, creo que aquí le está dando clic. He's swimming. What about number three? What are they doing? What are they doing, they, guys? They are playing tennis. They are playing tennis. Very good. What about this one, number four? What is she doing? She's riding a bike. She's riding a bike. What about number five? What are they doing? They're shopping. They're shopping. Let's see. Well, she's riding a bike. They're shopping. Very good. What about number six? What is he doing? He's watching, He's watching TV. He's watching TV, right? Number seven, what is she doing? He's driving a car. He's driving a car. Okay, he's driving. Oh, bueno, era un, era un chico entonces. Number eight, what is she doing? She's reading a newspaper. She's reading a newspaper. Number nine, what is what are they doing? I'm sorry. They, they are dancing. They are dancing. dancing. Very good. Excellent, okay. Now, what about the, the next one? Aquí vamos a contestar con una respuesta corta y luego vamos a decir lo que está pasando. So, is Debbie getting up? And I say, no, she isn't. She's sleeping. Let me see. Number two, are Kelly and Tony taking a walk? No, they aren't. They're... Shopping, right? What about number three? Are Megan and Dam studying? No, they What do you are. think? They uh, are dancing. Muy bien. No, they aren't, right? They are They're dancing. Dance. Muy bien. What about number four? It's Carmen. Driving a car? No, she isn't. Mm -hmm. What is she, she doing? She's riding a, a bike. She's riding, ¿verdad? She's riding... A bike. Very good. I think something is happening to my mouse. Creo que algo le está pasando a mi mouse y no sé qué es. Give me one second. Ahí está. Okay. What about number five, guys? Is Bill swimming? He's not. Ah, no, he's not, or no, he isn't. So what is he doing? He, he's running. He's running, right? He's running. What about number six? Is Michiko having yeah. dinner? No, he's, no, she's. 
No, she isn't. What is she doing then? She's watching television. Muy bien, she's watching TV. What about number seven? Is Claire watching television? No, he isn't. No, she isn't, right? Read a book. She's, perdón, ¿cómo dijo? Reading book. Ah, reading, ¿verdad? Tenemos que agregar ING. She's reading a book or just she's reading. Y what are you doing now? Are you sleeping? Not, he, not he. No, they are. Ok, en este caso la pregunta es para ustedes, ¿verdad? Y usted dice no. I am not. No, no, me estoy durmiendo. No, I am not. I'm studying. Uh, o puedo decir, I'm listening to the class, etc. Right? Muy bien. Excelente. En mi caso, no, I'm not. I'm studying English. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, I will give you some time for you to work on this one. Okay? So, you're going to follow the example. Is Terry wearing shorts? Es la pregunta. Look, Terry wears shorts. No, he's not. He's wearing jeans. Se parece al que, al que acabamos de hacer. Pero para eso se lo voy a pasar aquí en, la, en el chat para que usted lo revise. Okay? I will give you some minutes for you to complete this exercise. I will give you um, five minutes. Cinco minutos para completar este ejercicio. Okay? And your five minutes begin right now. Comienzan ahora. Pero, ¿tienen preguntas con respecto al, al cómo se va a hacer el ejercicio? No. Entonces, esos cinco minutos comienzan ahora.
Okay, guys, so time's up. Let's go ahead and see what your answers are. So we have the, what we have number two. What would be the question that we have in number two? Number two? Is Taylor wearing a raincoat? Muy bien, right? It's Taylor wearing a raincoat. And what is the answer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta de esa pregunta? La pregunta está muy bien. Ahora la respuesta. What would be the answer? Is Tylin wearing a raincoat? Look. Yeah. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que está llevando? He's wearing a sweater. Well, actually, he's wearing a coat. Sí, es, sí oh, tiene un abrigo, pero, pero no un impermeable. Uh -huh. So, he, no, he isn't. He's wearing a coat, right? What about number three? What would be the question for number three? Is Maria talking on the phone? It's Maria talking, ¿verdad? Talking, talking. Esa L es muda. It's Maria talking on the phone. La L is silent y no se pronuncia. Is Maria talking on the phone? What would be the answer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? No, she is not. Okay, no, she's not. Okay, entonces, what is she doing? She is studying for the exam. Ah, okay, she is sleeping, yes. actually. Look, this is Mary, right? De hecho, está durmiendo Mary, pobrecita. Tiene sueño, okay? So, what about number four? Number four, what would be the question? What would be the question? Are Terry and Helen eating? Mm, okay, very good. Let's see. Are Terry and Helen eating? Muy bien, excelente. What would be the, the answer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? No, they aren't. Okay, in this case, no, they aren't, but what are they doing? They are watching television. They are no. dancing, dancing, right? They, uh -huh, they are. They're dancing, uh huh. So they're not watching TV. What about number five? What would be the question for number five? Question for number five. Mm hmm. Are Pedro, Pedro and Sonia watching television? Mm -hmm. Are Pedro and Sonia watching television? And the answer is? No, they are not. No, they are not, or no, they aren't. So what are they doing then? Entonces, ¿qué hacen? If they are not watching TV, what are they doing? They are listening to the radio. Okay, well, actually, I have they are talking, right? They están hablando. What about number six? What would be the question for number six? Are Tylee and Brandon eating? Eating pizza. Muy bien. Are Tylene and Brandon eating pizza? And what is the answer? No, they are. Tylene and Brandon? Well, yo sí veo que están comiendo un pedacito de pizza. Yes, they are, right? They are eating pizza. They yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about number seven? Number seven? Yes, they are. Is 
Mm -hmm. Is Carlos chat chatting online? Is Carlos chatting online? Very good. What is the answer? Yes, he is. Mm, is he? No, he isn't. Actually, he's reading. Lo que tiene en las manos es un libro, right? No, he isn't. He's reading. What about number eight? She's wearing boots. Okay, the it's question. Maria wearing boots. Mm -hmm. Maria. It's Maria wearing boots. And the answer is? Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Maria, let me see, Maria, Maria, Maria. No, look, she's wearing high heels. And, no, she isn't. She's wearing high heels. No, aquí la pregunta es, ¿está María usando botas? Y la respuesta es no, miren aquí en la foto. No, she oh, isn't, okay. right? She's wearing high heels. Tiene zapatos de tacón alto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, that was about the uh, question form, right? Now, for verb, for the verb, um, I mean, sorry, for these type of exercises, we have ew, plenty of, of, of practice, but uh, today we're going to just focus on some eh, some of them. Now, también que vimos, que más vimos, cuando nosotros estábamos viendo la parte de los possessives, nos apareció esto, ¿se acuerdan? Que nos aparecían las, las conjunctions, pero estas tampoco las vamos a trabajar. Porque aparece una que no voy a necesitar. Pero este sí. Ok, entonces dice, write questions and answers. Use what plus doing and the words in parentheses, right? So what are you and Rick doing? So we're eating pizza, right? What about the next one, verdad? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la siguiente? Siguiendo el mismo ejemplo, what, ¿cómo haríamos la pregunta? What, what are, are Michael doing? Pero si solo es Michael. What is Michael? Ah, ok, ahí sí, ¿verdad? What is Michael doing? What is he doing? He, he is cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking dinner, ¿verdad? Un, un diner es algo diferente. Un diner, creo yo que es como una cafetería o un restaurante, pero dinner es esa comida, ¿verdad? De la, de la cena. What about number three? Number three? We are Kay and Joe. Ajá, ¿y el verbo? Is. No, él me dijo, what are Kate and Joe? Y luego me falta el verbo con ING. Doing. Muy bien, ¿verdad? What are Kate and Joe doing? And what is the answer? What is the answer? Mm -hmm. They are taking a walk. They are taking a walk, right? Esa L es muda y no se escucha, ¿verdad? They're taking a walk. What about number four? What would be the question for number four? What is Julie doing? Muy bien, what is Julie doing? And what is the answer? She's reading. She's, she's reading. reading, muy bien, she's reading. What about number five? What is the question? What is, what is Mary doing? Okay. What is Mary doing and what is the answer? She's, she's shopping. She's shopping, muy bien. What about number six? What, what are, are Courtney, Nicole and Jennifer, Jennifer doing? doing? Muy bien, what are Nicole and Jennifer doing? And what is the answer? They are watching television. They are watching television. Very good. What about number seven? What is Steven? 
Doing. Doing. What is Stephen doing? What is he doing, guys? He's studying. Mm -hmm. He's he studying. Exactly, he's studying math. And number eight. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What are you what doing? Are you doing? Uh -huh. And the answer is? I'm study, studying English. Muy bien, I'm studying English. Very good. Excellent. Now, guys, pues con eso finalizamos, ¿verdad? Y ahora solo me voy a pasar al examen final. Lo vamos a resolver así rapidito. Yo sé que, pues, eh, la mayoría ya lo realizó. Pero solo vamos a eh, responderlo acá para que, pues, que de constancia de que nosotros trabajamos también el, el examen final. Entonces voy a compartir el listening, por favor, pay attention, and then we're going, you're going to tell me the answers, ¿ok? Aquí vamos. Deme un momentito, creo que lo voy a sacar acá para que no me afecte. Está cargando, permita. <coughs> Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Your name is interesting, Justine. Are you French? No, I'm not. Are you Italian? No, I'm Canadian. You're from Canada? Yes. My family is from Montreal originally. 2. Where's Mike? Uh, Mike? I don't know him. He's my friend from school. He's a little quiet. Oh, is he serious? Actually, no, he's not. He's very funny. 3. Wow, it's really warm today. Yes, it sure is. And it's sunny, too. No, it's not. Look, it's raining. Oh, oh well. 4. Hey, Sue. How are you? Great, Phil. How about you? I'm okay. Hey, you look great. That's a nice suit. Thanks. It's new. Um, where's Ms. Collins? Uh, she's right over there. She's wearing a blue dress. Oh, I see her. Thanks. Okay, very good. So now you're going to tell me the answers, guys, okay? So what about number one? Where's Justin from? She's, she's from, from Canada. Canada. She's from Canada. Muy bien. She's from Canada. Number two. What is Mike like? He's a little kid. He's a little kid. Very, funny. very funny. Muy bien. Remember, the pronunciation of the adjective is quiet. No es quiet. It's quiet. Okay. What about number three? What's the weather like? It's raining, but it's warm. But it's warm. Mm -hmm. It's raining, but it's warm. Is Sue wearing a blue dress? No, she's not. She's wearing a suit. Suit, right? No, suit. she's not. She's wearing a suit. Muy bien. Excellent. So now let's move on to letter B. It says, read the answers and then write the questions, ¿verdad? Si la respuesta es, eh, no, they're not from England, they're from Australia, ¿cuál fue la pregunta que hicimos? Are they from England? Muy bien, that was the question, right? Are they from England? And he, the, the person says, no, they're not from England, they're from Australia. What about number two, guys? What is the question? The answer, I mean, the answer is we're from New York. Where are you from? Very good. In this case, where are you from? What about number three? I think she's 22. How, how old is she? Muy bien. How old is she? Y la última. I'm Japanese. I'm from Tokyo. What was the question? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's, no, yes. my first language is in Spanish. It's Portuguese. Is, is your first language Spanish? Spanish, right? 
Uh -huh. Is your first language Spanish? No, my first language is in Spanish. It's Portuguese. What about number five? Are you Japanese? Are you Japanese, right? Are you Japanese? And the person says, yes, I am Japanese. I'm from Tokyo, okay? Now, preguntas hasta aquí, chicos? Questions? No, vaya, sigamos entonces. Letter C, choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence. Larry isn't serious, so he is... Funny. Mm -hmm, exactly, si no es serio, entonces he's funny, right? Mm -hmm. Jean is a really good student, she's very... Smart. Smart. My teacher is in short, she's... Dark. Tall, right? My brother is good looking, so he's handsome. 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 Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on to letter C. It says choose the correct answer to the question. Entonces, si la pregunta es, is this Sue's scarf? What is the answer? One, two, or three guys? Two. That's correct. No, it's not hers. It's mine, right? Whose boots are these? One. Wow. Yeah. Maybe they maybe they're Katie's, right? Number three. Are there are these Lisa's gloves? Three. Three, right? Yes, they're hers. Whose hat is this? Three. Three, right? I think it's yours. And number five, are these Peter's and Cassie's coats? What? No. They aren't theirs. They're ours, right? So okay. this is letter C. Now we're moving to letter E. It says, use the correct present continuous form. So it says, are you wearing jeans? One, two, or three guys? Two. Two, right? No, I'm wearing a suit. No podía ser la anterior porque nos hace falta el verbo to be y no podía ser la última porque nos hace falta el verbo con ing. Number two, it's Mr. Sims wearing a tie. Three. No, he isn't wearing a tie. Muy bien, no, he isn't wearing a tie. Are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? Three. Oh, well, in this case, it's not or not because it's very hot. Is it raining? Two. No, it's not raining. It's snowing, right? Very good. Excellent. And then I think this is the last one. Creo que se ya es el último. It says, look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. So what about number two? What time is it? It's 10 to 7. Mm -hmm. Esa sería la primera. ¿Y la segunda? It's 5. It's 6.50. Okay, 6.50. What about number three? What time is it? It's a forty-five. It's a forty-five, and it's the second a quarter to nine. Ah, okay. It's a quarter to nine. Very good. And number four. What time is it? It's eleven o five. It's eleven o five, and it's five past eleven. Okay. Right. Muy bien, chicos. Bueno, prácticamente, bueno, ese era el examen y era bien corto. ¿Verdad? Como ustedes pudieron ver, era bien cortito. Eh, ¿Cuáles fueron los temas principales de esta sección 5? Eh, possessives, ¿verdad? Present continuous, telling the time. De hecho, traía varios este, temitas, ¿verdad? La, eh, la plataforma en este, esta sección en particular. Eh, bueno, con este pues serían como ya los últimos ejercicios que íbamos a completar, cerrando pues con lo que era el examen final. Eh, nuevamente, eh, nada más recordarles, ¿verdad? Que estén pendientes siempre de sus correos, porque esos son los correos a donde le van a mandar como los detalles para el próximo eh, módulo, ¿verdad? Eh, lo que yo recomiendo es eh, practicar, ¿verdad? No se quede solamente con lo que 
pues con la clase, sino que vaya y busque ejercicios para completar, eh, busque eh, vídeos, ¿verdad? Relacionados a los temas que usted ha visto. Lo que yo siempre recomiendo es expóngase al idioma lo más que pueda. Si no nos exponemos al idioma, entonces va a ser un poquito más difícil como adquirir pues esas habilidades que necesitamos para poder hablarlo bien, ¿verdad? Si le gusta ver YouTube, ok, está bien, pero empecemos a ver videos así como un poquito básicos y más eh, de los temas eh, que nos gustan, pero en inglés. Si me gusta ver una serie en televisión, ok, no problem, pero en inglés, ¿verdad? Con subtítulos sí gusta, pero la idea es que se empiece a acostumbrar el oído al idioma, ¿de acuerdo? Así que esa sería pues el, digamos, la, la última sección ya dentro del, de lo que es el, um, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Este, uh, creo que ahí les habían puesto algo con respecto a, a lo de la plataforma, no vi muy bien, pero ahorita solo voy a pasar lista de los que no me contestaron, ¿verdad? Y con eso pues finalizo la clase. Permítame un momentito. Aquí de los que no me contestaron tengo a Carlos Alexander Vizcarra Pineda. Carlos Alexander Vizcarra. No está. Eh, Elba Milagro Granados Rodríguez. Presente. Gracias, Elba. Eh, Julio César Rosa Galeano. Julio César Rosa Galeano. Luego tenemos a Julio César Baquís Villatoro. Gracias, Julio César. Pensé que no había entrado hoy, no lo escuché. Karen Andrea Díaz Ponía. Karen Andrea, tampoco. Eh, Maritza del Carmen Meléndez de Alarcón. Maritza del Carmen Meléndez de Alarcón, tampoco. Bye. Eh, Oscar Giovanni Castillo Mancía. Eh, Rolando Ernesto Aquino de León. Presente. Gracias, Rolando. Luego tengo Ruz Xiomara Ayala de García. Ruz Xiomara. Y Jetmi Wendilet Patres Flores. Wendy. I mean, Jetmi Wendilet no está. Ok. So, veamos que vaya a completar la lista. Sí. Bueno, chicos, entonces, that would be it, ¿verdad? Eh, thank you very much for joining. I wish you the best, ¿verdad? Buen trabajo. Ya sabe, Julio César. <ríe> a la orden. Gracias a ustedes por acompañarme en todo, todo el, el módulo. Así que para la próxima, ya saben cómo se trabaja, ya saben cómo se maneja la plataforma, ya saben eh, que lo importante que es que se les toma sus minutos de asistencia, ¿verdad? Y también ya saben este, cómo manejarse, ¿verdad? Así que thank you very much for joining. Have a good night and see you around. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. You're welcome, Alba. Cuídense. Cuídense, chicos. Oye, I wish you the best. <laughs> thank you, William. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jorge. Take care, guys. Los dejo entonces, chicos. Cuídense mucho. Good night. Bye-bye.